Everybody, welcome back to Breakfast with Bob, our Challenge Roth edition. My name is Bob Babbitt, brought to you by Hoka. Fly, human, fly, as fuels, right fuel, right time. Master Spas, Deborah Wetsuits, Premium Plus Sports, and our Challenge Athletes Foundation. Our next guest, Tina Pohjalainen. Yes, wow. that's correct. Wow, <laughs> from Finland. Oh my God, that made my day. How are you doing, Tina? Uh, quite excited, and also, I had to admit, a bit nervous, too. I, I want you to be a bit nervous, Annie Hogg. <laughs> Yeah, no. and the interview with you. Uh, yeah, the, oh, come on. <laughs> hey, you know, Laura Phillip. Hey, you just got a couple of yeah. the Hall of Famers you'll be racing against. That shouldn't be a big deal. <laughs> That'd be good. So what got you into this, this sport? Uh, it's a long story, but actually okay. <laughs> one of my good friends did like her full distance race. It's a long, long time yeah, ago. Yeah. But yeah, still, and I was so amazed about her performance because yes. uh, she ran her like best marathon time in the full distance race and i was so like amazed that how can Wait, it be she ran a faster like, marathon than she'd run as yeah, a marathon yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow and i was like how oh, how can it be like possible yes and it's funny that yeah like last year and also a couple of years ago i did the same thing so really? myself so yeah so i wanted to try that and what was your <laughs> marathon pr and what did you end up running in the triathlon uh, actually, my marathon PR, that's a long time ago okay. when I have it, so yeah, 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 but last year I ran my best marathon time in Portugal in full distance race. Nice, okay. Yeah. And what did you run in Portugal? Uh, under three hours. So oh, then you ran yeah. 258.37? Yeah. <laughs> that is a that good was thing. my like one dream to run under three hours. And now, were you, were you a straight runner back in the day? You were just yeah, running? actually, yeah, actually, I did athletics when I was young. And what girl, was, was what but I like totally different uh, distances. Right, I like, ran like uh, 100 meters, 200 meters. Oh, you were a sprinter. And like 400 meters, and also 800 meters. Oh my god! And 400 meters hurdles too. That's a hard. <laughs> and, the, and I bet back in the day, the 800 felt like, oh my god, yeah. that is so long. Yeah. What are we thinking about? <laughs> yeah, and now it's funny that. I do such a long distance. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. And so when you got into this as a pro, how old were you? Uh, I started 2020, so four years ago. Four years ago. Yeah, and you're so still like 30, 35. Yeah. So you're like going, oh, what old. the hell? <laughs> I'm jumping in here. Yeah. I mean, a lot of pros start when they're 18, 19, 20 years old. You're yeah. 35. And I wanted to challenge myself also right. and wanted to try how is it like. Well, and also. Yeah. What's wrong with being a professional professional athlete of any yeah, sort? Yeah. And give that a try. Has it been True. fun? Yeah, it has. Definitely like word of the yeah. What what have been your chance. your favorite I mean you were fifth at Ironman Portugal. Yeah. That's huge last year. with the two fifty eight, nine oh eight. And you got seventeenth in worlds in Finland. In yeah, your home that country. was quite exciting, yeah, experience. You had a few people cheering for you there? Yes. <laughs> a lot of people, yeah. And also my dogs. That was your dogs yeah, were yeah. cheering. <laughs> <laughs> like your dogs are cheering. That that's what it comes out of. What in your first pro race was uh, back? It was, was that in was Tahko. Fin yeah, in it's Finland. Ironman Finland. Yeah. And that was fourth place. That was your first pro race. Yeah, and I started like quite bad time because of the COVID. So right. the first year I was only racing in Finland, and all the like national right. championship all the national races. Stuff. But yeah, and Tahko then, was my first pro. But then you find yourself. I'm going to Bahrain. I'm going to St. Yeah. George, Utah. I love to travel, so <laughs> that's why I yeah choose all the like races. I have never been in right. those yeah countries. What, what have been your favorite races so far? That's hard to tell. There are so many. I, right, because <laughs> you've have been, been actually you yeah have. before the pro career. I have been uh, racing quite many places also yes. as age grouper. So I was in right. South Africa. I have done like two times. There has been the yeah. Ironman 70.3 Worlds. So this sport uh, yeah. has taken you around also the world. Also in Australia I have been. And yes. Yeah. Had you done a lot of travel before you got in the triathlon? Quite much, yeah, but not that much not actually. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, so I can combine like two passions, traveling so and racing. So you go in for, and for the an sports. event and see a little of the countryside yeah. and then go do your race. Yes. <laughs> That, that's that's best, awesome. Yeah. Now, are you uh, you do this full time, and you make a living doing this? Or are you working another <laughs> job? What are you doing? Yeah, I work like full time also, and then I have this another career as a professional triathlete. So that's like. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> that's uh, yeah. So what's the real? Hard what's the real sometimes. career? 
Uh, I work in a bank as oh, a like development manager yes. in regulatory reporting. Like <laughs> nice. Well, <laughs> yeah, but you it's know like so totally different. But world. what's great about that is the balance, right? Because yeah. you, you, it's like if a lot of people when they're going to a race, if if they don't make X amount of money, they're not paying their mortgage. True. Right? Yeah, I don't have to. Yeah, You're not worry worried about, about that. that. You're yeah, going. Hey, yeah. I'm getting. <laughs> if they help me out to get to the race or take care of a homestay, and I get to go to South Africa or yeah. Portugal or. That's pretty sweet living. Yes, it is. <laughs> that is great. Well, now, what are your goals yeah. here? Well, I aim for the like best time. Yes. Yeah, one of my dream is to go under nine hours. Okay. So that's yeah one goal target. Go under nine hours. Yeah. That, well, that, that, if there's going to be a course, <laughs> this is it, right? Yeah, hope so. I mean, but you yeah. went nine away to Portugal. Yeah. And I'm assuming that this is a faster course in Portugal. Yeah, I think so too. But still, it's like full distance. It's always like you never know. You never know. You never know, and you might have like difficult times at the race. So when you when you're racing and you're balancing having a real job, was there a race that you did that basically said, you know what, why not? I I'm, I know I'm I got my job, but I'm still going to try to be a pro here. Uh, well, I have been thinking about that for a while, but when I was, I came second on the Ironman 70.3 Worlds in South Africa, like 2018. Oh, really? Yeah, I was second there, so that's why I think that, that well, probably, and also I was uh, Kona you in like... 2019, is, yeah, is just grouper. before, yeah, as age group, and before it, I turned. So that's why I wanted to take the another step and yeah, yes. try And what did something you, were you new. second in Kona in your age group? Or you, you won your no, age? Kona no. went badly, oh, so okay. that's why I have like a revenge. <laughs> Probably so, I had to get, yeah, I was ninth there. So yeah, the race didn't go as, yeah. yeah they're not always going to be good, <laughs> yeah. but you got to go to Kona. Yeah, <laughs> I have seen that for too. Yeah. Somebody from Finland going, oh, I'm just going to go race in Kona, Hawaii. True. Yeah, yeah. that's a yeah, your friends cool must memory. Be pretty jealous. Because <laughs> it's not like you're traveling when you're a professional triathlete. It's not like you're traveling to, you know, Oxnard. You're not traveling to crappy places. Yeah, no. All Triathlon's, the places I have been racing at. Right. Yeah, they're. it's beautiful. And it's nice because I can choose where I want to go you race. Can choose yeah. It. And also the races, they are like so cool destinations. And so, everybody, yeah. everywhere you go, there, there. It doesn't matter language. Everybody loves the sport. Yeah, and that's that, so that's true. That, that, yeah, and you meet sort of like new people language. and yeah, like-minded have, people. <laughs> now, did you have you met some homestays that you are going to be friends with forever? Uh, not actually homestays. No, yes. I haven't uh, been. Yeah, yet. But yeah, but friends. friends yeah, at the yeah, races. yeah. And what different is, countries? It, and have you that's been to this really before? Nice. No, this is first time. So what do you think so far? It's cool. Yeah, I have been. Le yesterday, I went to the bike course. Yes. I cycled that, and oh, I was like, this is amazed. Huh? It's really beautiful. Yeah. Good for you. But I'm mostly probably looking for the atmosphere because yes. people have so. Yeah, I have heard so good things about that. This is the place that the atmosphere is it's like the best one. Yeah, yeah, all the like people are cheering and there are so supporters. So when you come that's into that stadium, you. that's going to be a finish line, unlike anything yeah. you've seen i mean kona finish line is awesome that but i have heard that this is like yeah the stadium better than kona. is yeah. unbelievable it's very so very that's, cool yeah You're gonna have i'm a looking lot of fun. forward to that <laughs> and this is something you want to keep doing right yeah let's see right there's <laughs> let's no see. reason not um, to yeah yeah <laughs> now do you Hawk is a good example because yeah, yeah Annie she Hogg can also improve 41, so right? why can i yeah and why she's running I? faster than ever yeah Patrick yeah Lange is 37. there's no reason Exa you can't yeah, keep doing for this example, right yeah. Now you're True. you are 39. Yeah, yeah. And so next year, yeah, but you know what? For nothing wrong with. Yeah, and I think that yeah, I could do also better. So yeah. You feel like you're still improving. Yeah. Now you <laughs> you feel. coach yourself. Do you have a coach? Yeah, I have a coach. Yeah, really good and coach. You know, and yeah. you've noticed improvement. Yeah, actually, I changed like last year was the first year with the new coach. Yes. So yeah, so and I yeah, yeah I did some, some really good yeah results. I love it. Well, it's going to be a treat to watch you out there on yeah. Sunday. It's you know that's what's so cool about this race. You've got pros who've been doing this at a top mm, for level. A long They've time. won yeah. the Ironman World Championship, and pros like yourself who yeah. are who are working. Who a has like job, quite different have background. Have a real life, and you're doing it because it's it's a blast. Yeah, yeah. That's very cool. <laughs> and have the pros been been the top pros accepting nice people? Yeah, I think that yeah. 
Love it. They, they, uh, they are wonderful people. <laughs> Tina, thank you so much for taking time. Great thank to you. get to meet you and have a great time on Sunday. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Tina's been our guest again. Breakfast with Bob. Challenge Roth edition. Hold on, everybody. We will be right back.